This is an exciting time of year for us golf nerds. 2024 equipment is coming out now. This is my gamer setup that I've been using the last year. I did a full review of this Ask Echo golf bag with the T-lock top that does a very good job of keeping my irons and clubs from touching each other and banging each other up. Let's see what Ask Echo has in store for this year. Ooh, a golf towel. I need one of those. Ooh, with a magnetic attach, I think this is. A nice waffle pattern. All right, what we have here is a new cart bag with what they're calling the silence top. Let's see how this thing stacks up. 2024 update with the silence top goes for about $300 on the Ask Echo website coupon code and link in the description below to save you a little bit of money off of that. And our T-Lock bag from 23 is about $220. Again, link and coupon code for this bag also. But of course, it has all the standard features like an umbrella pocket with a strap up top, your Velcro areas, different hoops and loops where you can connect things to. Very cool. Well, let's get some clubs in it and see how this top works. Mm. All right, I was getting a little bit confused at first because I thought this thing was too short and my clubs were not sitting down properly. There's actually a kind of a, a tight, snug fit at the bottom to hold the grip and if your club to keep it from moving around. I was wondering how that's gonna work. So the top itself isn't that tight, where the T-lock, we've got a groove for the blade of our irons or wedges to sit in to keep them from moving around. The key on this bag is inside, we've got a snug fit on the grip. -in. Interesting. So what we have here is 14 slots for our normal clubs and a spot at the bottom for our oversized putter. All of these spots include that friction fit for the grip of your club to keep them in place. No rattling around. Unlike any other bag I've seen, they don't fall out if you tip it over. Let's take a quick tour of the pockets. One of the big improvements for 24 is this magnetic closed pocket. And on the inside of the door, there's T holders. We've got a Velcro for American flag or whatever flag you want to put on there. A scorecard pocket below. We've got another small zippered pocket followed by this larger zippered pocket. And down below that, what we all want, the cooler pocket. So this thing is upgraded also from 24, so the front door can be removed completely for cleaning. And within the door, there's also a zippered pocket for a ice pack. And in the bottom of the compartment, totally there's drains still. That's a holdover from before, so that's nice. It'll automatically drain your water as you melt your ice. Moving over to the sides, we have more pockets for beverages with that insulation on the inside, so good for a can or a bottle. And conventional pockets on the sides, large ones here with high quality zippers. We've got this valuable pocket, which is kind of nice. Um, it's waterproof, plus the inside is lined with a fuzzy fabric. It's a great place to put anything with a screen, most likely your phone wallet things like that but that inside line is very nice it won't scratch up your screen then of course we've got various hoops and um, places to hang your, your gadgets and your velcro for your gloves 
same pockets on both sides this one here i'm showing very nice high quality rain hood that matches your bag moving around to the strap side we've got these additional velcros to attach to a push cart the newer push carts um, a standard single strap then also a rain protect cover that's in addition to the rain hood that one covers the entire bag for transport then we have the umbrella pocket and the associated velcro loop up top overall nice improvements and we've got a pass through for the cart strap that is the one big difference on the 23 bag or the t-lock bag that entire pocket assembly flips up it is a trade-off i do prefer the magnetic closure pocket versus this um, zipper one much more convenient after you put a ball in the drink and have to grab one out quickly and kick it over before your playing partner sees it nice improvement there i appreciate it one other thing i really liked about the t-lock bag is the rigid handle up top very quick and easy to transport the bag and had these two, two other small pocket handles that i didn't really use much but they were available the silence top bag has these rigid handles incorporated into the bar around the club area Before I crown the silence top bag, the new gamer, we got one last test. Let's put it on our old Sun Mountain cart. See how it fits on there. Latching this top strap on the silence bag to get this thing properly attached to my push cart is the only inconvenience here. This uses a pass-through behind the top pocket assembly. So it's doable, but it's a bit of a pain. On the T-lock bag, that entire pocket assembly flips up for easy access. One thing I do whenever I organize this bag, I do it from this end, like I'm gonna interact with a cart, so that's one negative between, if you're gonna switch back and forth between a push cart and a golf cart, how you interact with your clubs changes a little bit. Um, so the T-lock bag is a little bit universal in that you go from tallest iron down. This has a little bit more flexibility. So if you're a golf cart guy and like to ride, you'd probably arrange your clubs like this. If you're a push cart guy, you'd likely reverse the setup and put your wedges down on the bottom and your woods up top. But really, it's personal preference. I do like how the clubs are displayed a bit better on the T-lock bag because they go around the circle. They get hidden from view depending on what side of the bag you're on. If I'm on the course, I can easily see all of my clubs and grab the one I want. Once this bag was mounted on my push cart, I found it a little bit harder to get the grip end of the clubs seated properly in that fit at the bottom of the bag. What was happening is the cart wanted to roll away, so I simply had to push harder and the club went right into place. But it's something I'll have to get used to. Um, use one hand to brace the bag and cart assembly so it doesn't roll away and then firmly push down on the club to get it seated properly. So like I said, going into this, I was skeptical, but this bag presents much more like a traditional bag, but still gives you those benefits of keeping your club separated and organized with the additional benefit that I have tipped my cart bag over, I'll admit it, I have. But the additional benefit in the case when you're putting this in your car horizontally and sometimes the clubs have a tendency to come out or when your push cart takes a tumble, I hate to admit it, but it's happened to me. If you're not keeping an eye on it, it rolls down a hill, something like that, your clubs aren't going to come flying out. So it works pretty good. So this Ask Echo bag with the silence top is very good. It's the same high quality construction as their previous bags with the additional benefit of the detent or the 
tight fit on the grip end of the club that keeps them securely in place. So it's able to present your clubs like a traditional bag and without any height restrictions. So that was one of the things on the old bag, if you had longer than normal clubs, say if you're 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, and you've got long clubs, they're not gonna properly fit in the detent here. This eliminates that problem. Your club can stick up as high as you want and there's that fit at the grip end. The one negative is, I'm sure if you're using the Jumbo Fat Max grips, they're not going to fit in the detent in the bottom of the bag. So keep that in mind. I have standard grips. I would think one size oversize would fit just fine, but on the extreme end, those jumbo grips likely will not fit. I like how this presents the clubs, keeps them from banging into each other. The clubs won't fall out if you happen to tip your bag. I know it sounds odd, but it's happened to me before. Push cart goes down and your clubs fly out. And at least it'll minimize the embarrassment. You won't have to go pick up your five iron, seven iron uh, if you let your push cart get away from you. Otherwise, very impressed. This thing is my new gamer. I'm gonna have to figure out, I do have a good friend that's a middle school teacher. You might get a golf bag for Christmas. Slightly used. Link to the bag and the coupon code in the dis video description. Check it out. Save you a little money on this thing. Awesome Christmas present. I think it's the real deal. Some nice additional features over the T-Lock bag. But the T-Lock bag still remains a very good bag. If you want to save some money, go with that one too. The link for that one is also in the description with the coupon code. Um, happy golfing. You notice I have some open slots on this bag. I think I need to do some club shopping. I think you do too. Thanks for watching. Adios.